the power of brand validation. Hi, this is Key. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with, sharing with you some ideas that have to do with what's called the power of your brand. And in this how-to video, I'm going to show you things that some of you are taking for granted and don't realize they are affecting your business. Brand validation has to do with, hey, I've done some business with that plumber. I really like him. I want to tell you about him. He did such a good job for me. I think you should consider hiring him. What I just did by me sharing with you how my experience with at that plumber really worked for me is validate his work because I truly enjoyed the experience of it. And what I want to bring to your attention, most of you are on this call, most of you are real estate agents, is that you guys love your brand but you don't know the power of sharing that love about your brand. So let me give you some ideas. Uh, the main idea is very simple. Brand validation is a concept that you understand. It has to do with you. Uh, when someone loves something, they want to tell their friends. Uh, if they like, uh, they find a new ice cream place in Franklin, Tennessee, they want to go, oh, you got to go there. It is so cool. The ice cream is really good. So what we're trying to do is understanding that people love to share when they find something they like. And because of social media, people used to use email to send these messages to people. Now they are using what's called social media. In fact, they are now using social media websites. I know, I know the term social media has been reduced to only two companies like um, uh, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and maybe uh, Google+. Plus. But guess what? There are other social media websites that are as powerful, if not more powerful. So let me, let me give you a sense of what those ideas are. Uh, my name is Key. I'm a real estate internet strategist. And I work with agents and brokers and help them develop real estate ideas and systems that enable them to leverage the power of the Internet for their business. But enough about me. Let's move on. Here's the thing that you need to understand about what is called work validation. There is a hidden validation that a lot of you are taking for granted. And I'm talking to you, the real estate agents. Some of you work for a company that you really love. In this example today, I'm going to be talking about Exit Mid-South. Exit Mid-South is located in Tennessee, Kentucky. And some of you agents work for them or are brokers of that entity. And you actually love the relationship you have with uh, Jean Marie Grumbles, Mike Grumbles, George Styron, you know, and the whole entity around it. But there are people that are really running these brokerages, and they are the broker owners of your region. This hidden validation means that our agents take for granted the fact that they love working for our brand, but never do anything about it. The, they tell their uh, clients from time to time, they may share it, but they never actually formulate it. And even when they formulate it, they put it on Facebook. And you and I know that Facebook is like a river. When you put something in there, at some point that river will go down. It just keeps moving forward. What if we could do something better? Think of people who work for Google and Apple. They are always talking about it. Oh, I work for Google and this is what we have. We have a gym. We have this. We have that. People love to talk about where they work, especially if they love where they work. So let's think about what we can do. How about you, the real estate agent? I know in your job, some of you love working for your brokers. And those brokers, you from time to time, I can see you. I mean, I'm, I'm right there with you. I'm your friends on Facebook. I can see you, talk, you talking about Laura Umberger or some other broker uh, like Tony King. And you say things about, oh, my God, I just had a closing. My broker is the best. So what if you could start doing something on the web 
that actually could benefit your brokers and indirectly benefits you. I'm going to share with you an example. In this video, I'm going to be talking about WithExit.com and specifically talking about the container that Jean Marie Grumbles put together for the whole region. There are some of you who work for your brokers in the Tennessee and Kentucky area uh, who work, for example, for Bob Lamb, you know, Laura Emberger, Tony King, Cheryl Strong, Jeremy Flax, Jen Nichols. Oh, man, my God, there are so many of you guys um, that you as an agent love working there, but you don't know how to say it. Or if you do say it, you're putting it in a container that does not create visibility. What if we could show you a way of doing it? Do you know that this aggregation of power will keep creating visibility for other agents? You see, there are colleagues of yours who are working for other brands who want to know what is it like to work for Exit in your region? What is it like to actually uh, build a, a business presence in Tennessee, Kentucky that actually could benefit me? And what is missing are testimonials from you, the agents, talking about your broker. I'm not talking about the brand in general, but I'm talking about you talking about your broker, who ha who who have whoever it happens to be. Uh, it could be Cindy Crutcher. Cindy Crutcher has a great agency in Louisville. Uh, Kentucky and her agents I know for a fact because I met them love her they love the way she goes out of her way to offer them training new ways of thinking new way of growing their business so what if you could aggregate that power how would you go about it well let me tell you here's the steps if you happen to be in the Tennessee Kentucky region well your region has a hub a hub is basically a place where you could talk about all of the things about your website. I'm going to talk about with exit.com. You could log into that website, become a member, upload a picture, and share of yourself. You know, tell, tell the world what you do and where you do it. So, in essence, you're promoting yourself. So, let's say you go there, you create an account. Once you do that, do you know that there is a section in that website called testimonials? In fact, this is the URL of that website. Do you know that if you can go to that website, if you scroll down, there is a link at the bottom called submit a testimonial. And what you can do is actually submit a testimonial about one of your brokers. So let us give us, let me give you a sense of it. So you know what to do, you know where to go, and you're going to share a testimonial about your broker. And you can, by the way, you can you don't have to write just a testimony about your broker. You could write a testimony about your broker, about your regional owner, Jim Marie Grumbles. You could write it about your um uh the colleagues around you the agents you work with? What if you had a good experience working with another agent like Joe Petno in his region and you worked with him and you loved working with him and you wanted to share to others how it felt to work with Joe Petno? What it would be like to, I know that for example in your region you from time to time have visitors like Steve Morris, the CEO of Exit Realty. What if you could write a testimonial about your experience about being with him in a room when he does his training called face off so these ideas are simple but I think our agents take them for granted because they don't think there is a place for it I'm going to show you how to do this by the way it's very simple first of all what you want to do is share of yourself share of your experience Honestly and authentically. Don't make stuff up. Just share what you feel. That's really where the power of testimonials come from. The second thing you want to do is probably if you attend a training or a social event or you're gathering with other agents that you like, keep that in mind and ask yourself, you know something, I had a good experience doing this. I want to tell the world about it.
Now, if you're doing it on Facebook, that is fine. But what if you could do it also in a container that will be always visible? So you need to understand that Facebook is a closed loop. Meaning that social media websites like Facebook are not visible to search engines because they block those sites. What if you could put something on Facebook but also put it in your regional website like with exit.com? Let me show you some examples on how you could do that. I wrote a, a testimonials about Jean Marie Grumbles and I'm going to show you how I'm going to share it and all you have to do is do something similar but not necessarily about Jean Marie Grumbles. You could do it about your broker. In fact, that's what I think the power is. The power is for you to talk about what it's like to work for Bob Lamb and Jeremy Tabor in Murfreesboro. Or, you know, Laura Umberger in Manchester, Tennessee. That is the power of testimonials. So let me show you some examples on how you can do this. The first thing you want to do is, of course, go to the website www.withexit.com and when you go in there hopefully you already have an account if you already have an account all you have to do is log in well it's very simple sign in it will ask you for your username and password I'm gonna put in my own so I'm gonna use my username and password to write something about Jean Marie I'm gonna log in when I log in you will see on the side here it will say, uh, welcome key, uh, key Assad, and this is my account. When I go there, there is a link in the navigation here called testimonials. And when you go to the testimonial section, you can actually scroll down to the bottom of that page. As you can see, for example, uh, Steve Manley added a testimonial about the region. And you will notice that Jen Nichols added the testimonial about the region. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find the link and it says, are you a satisfied customer? Submit a link or submit a testimonial. It's very simple. Click on submit testimonial and a pop-up will come up. And it's going to ask you for two things. It's going to ask you for the title and a description. I have already written it, so I'm going to show you what I wrote. This is a testimonial about Jean Marie Grumbles, and here's what I wrote. I wrote, Jean Marie Grumbles, the regional owner of Exit Mid-South in Tennessee and Kentucky, has invited me many times to offer specialized internet marketing training in her region, and I must say that I loved it. And by the way, I've loved it. I love coming to Tennessee and Kentucky. Jean Marie's drive, passion for the exit brand and the love of the agent's success is truly contagious. I love visiting with her and all of the agents and the brokers. Thank you, Jean, Jean Marie, for thinking of me. So this is my testimonial about Jean Marie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this text that I wrote and I'm going to go to my website. And when I go to my website, it's going to ask me for the testimonial. There it is. I copied it and pasted it. And then I'm going to give it a, a, a title. Well, I'm going to write, Jean Marie is awesome. Hey, I can write whatever I want. When I do that, I can just hit submit. And what's going to happen is my testimonial has just been submitted to the admin of the site. The admin of the site is, of course, my grumbles and... Um, and of course, uh, George Styron. And what they will do is they will look at this link and see if the text that was shared is appropriate. Because sometimes, you know, some of the things that can be shared are not appropriate. And then they will either approve it or disapprove it. So let's see what happens once they approve it. Okay, so let's see what happens if they approve it. So I know it has just been approved. So what you can do, you can go back to testimonials, and here's what you will see. You will see that this testimonial that was just written by Key, I just wrote this testimonial, now has the text that I wrote, but it also has a link to me saying something about Jean Marie. And I basically said Jean Marie is awesome, and I wrote something about her in this text. Now, the beauty of this is that not only are you 
building the brand around you because I know you guys with exit have uh, the ability to actually sponsor agents so you can people can see the power of this thing in exit mid south but the second thing is this link here takes me back to my website where I can promote myself as an agent within the website of this client it is truly what I call a win win I hope you guys uh, understood the, the power of this video. I hope you guys understand that your brokers are looking out for you. And if you love them and you care about them, I hope you say something about them in your social media. I'll talk to you soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.